Uh, Dimitri, well, kind of take us through the last week or so, if you can, traveling here and uh, probably some relief to get back out on the ice after having to quarantine for a few days. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, now it's eight days ago, um, you know, jump on the plane and uh, when I got here, straight into a hotel for quarantine. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, just sitting in a hotel for, for a week is is not fun. Uh, but you know, I try to try to occupy myself watching watching TV shows and um, things like that. Uh, you know, getting up to speed on on what's going on around the league. Um, now, finally, you know, being on the ice with the team uh, feels good. What do you think you can really add to the team? Like if we're talking a few weeks from now, what would you like to really say, hey, I was able to do this for the team? Um, I don't know, whatever is, is uh, needed for me, you know, I, I play, a, play a, you know, defensive role uh, in the team and really help out, you know, in, in every aspect of the game. Um, just being a being really solid player um, playing in uh, every situation that uh, I'm put in, um, and you know, trying to trying to add uh, some some physicality to to the team and uh, some you know some grit, if you if you will. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Dimitri, like Chris Russell of the Oilers. You were an offensive defenseman before you got to the National Hockey League. When did it did it turn for you where you said, you know what, I got lots of points playing junior, but I'm a defensive defenseman in the National Hockey League? Um, I don't know. It just feels like uh, the offensive part, is, it's just a stat. And sometimes, uh, you know, I feel like in, in Winnipeg when I wasn't playing on the on the power play, um, and the points uh, production started to go down. You kind of, you know, think like, okay, just you know, focus on all the aspects of the game, uh, like I was talking before. And, and you know, if the points are coming, it's great. But if not, you just want to be, uh, you know, a well-rounded player that can that can play in every uh, situation that you put in. Uh, and you've had back issues before. How have you strengthened your back so that your back has been healthy all year? Uh, it's been a long time ago, and you know, I've I've moved on. I've I'm past the, that uh, you know that kind of part of of my rehab, and um, now I'm not even thinking about it. But when I when I did my rehab, it was a lot of uh, uh, core exercises and um, things like that. Daniel Ninja Bowman, the Athletic. Dimitri, what is it like uh, to have these three days of, of practicing uh, before theoretically getting a chance to play Monday rather than, you know, potentially having to go in t tomorrow night? I mean, is it, it probably nice to get up, up to up to speed a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely nice. You know, practice with the team, get to know your uh, your, your teammates, your line mates, and um, really spend some time um, on the ice, you know, getting your, uh, getting your body ready after, uh, you know, seven day layoff. Yeah, even longer for me actually, because um, I didn't play the, the last two games uh, um, for Jersey before the trade deadline. Um, so definitely nice. Uh, you know, it's a, it's kind of a, a pros and cons, I guess. Uh, if you're put right into the game uh, off of a trade deadline, you just you have no time to think about it and just uh, go on the ice and and enjoy what what you're doing for a living. Um, but on the other hand, you know, it's it's nice to, like I said, get to know your uh, teammates, live mates, and um, you know, get some uh, practice time before the before the game. Uh, a few days ago, Dave Tibbet hinted that he might try it with a few different people just to see where you fit in best. But right now, obviously, skating with with Adam Larson. What, what do you know about him? And you know, theoretically, you guys could form a, a pretty good you know defensive pairing. But what do you think about that that uh, prospect? Um. It's been it's been good, you know. Today we we did some scrimmage uh, um, on the ice, uh, you know, in, in practice, and, and I think uh, you know it went well. Uh, we we've communicated. We kind of talk about the things, what he likes, and um, how uh, 
how we can read off of each other. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes uh, in the game. We have a couple more days of practice before uh, before the next game. Mark Spector, Sportsnet. Dimitri, I assume you watched the last two games, uh, the order of games against Montreal. Uh, what was it like to watch those games? What did you think of the games? And did you kind of wish you were playing in them? Um, of course, yes. Uh, I've watched the last couple of games and uh, um, just watching it, uh, it seems like uh, the, the game is getting up to, you know, the playoff speed and the playoff uh, intensity. You know, it's it was uh, very physical the last two games against Montreal. Um, yeah, you want to be a part of uh, of the games like that because this is uh, this that's where it's fun. You know, it's uh, you're playing uh, some meaningful games, uh, um, and you know this is uh, this the the exciting part of the season. You're going into Winnipeg, where you a team you played for, uh, assuming that you're going to play in one of these games. Um, is it maybe more comfortable to start there because you've been there, you know what's going on, or this is, I think, your fifth team, so I guess you've been around for a while, but does it help playing Winnipeg? Does it matter playing Winnipeg? What do you think? Um, to be honest, I yeah, I don't think it, it matters um, a lot. It's it's whoever's whoever's the team that, that you know, my first game is going to be against. Uh, that's the, the, you know, day on the calendar I'm going to be marking. Uh, if it's Winnipeg, um, you know, great. Uh, but it it's I don't I wouldn't say that it's uh, you know means more than any other team. Jim Matheson. Uh, Dimitri, you said you didn't play the last two games for New Jersey. Were you kept out of the games because you were going to be traded, or you just didn't play? Uh, kept out because of the you know trade. And and who did you play with most often with the Winnipeg Jets the last couple of years? Um, I played with uh, Pionk um, the last year, um, and then before that, I played with Myers. Thank you.